create overlapping Photoshop photo strips in CC 2019 or 2018, etc. First thing to do, just got an image here, and just go to Image and Duplicate. Once you've done that, I don't know work from doing the actual duplicate. I prefer to work that way. So just going to go now, just go to Edit and Fill. I'm just going to fill it with black, but you could, of course, fill it with any color, white, etc., etc. And then I'm just going to go to the Edit and Fade, because I actually want to be able to see the general image, but I just don't want to put it about 80 80%, 85%, so I can just see it in the background, so I know actually where I'm putting the various strips of the uh, photo. Now I'm just going to go back to the original image. Once I've done that, instead of it, I could use the rectangular marquee tool, just create that, create a quick strip that way. But personally, I prefer more irregular sort of, uh, so I'm just going to go for the that lasso tool there, polygon tool, and I'm just going to select that and just drag that across and just create a very quick strip just there. Now you can make it obviously different angles, you can just change that. And then edit and copy or control C and then go back to the other document and now you can obviously see why I've got the original so I can just drag that over. Now you can of course work just from a black background, it's up to you, depends on how strong the image is you want to work with. So you can just move it over and you see I've got that car. Go back to the original image and then create another Selection just using the polygon tool, right? Once that's done, copy that again and paste again into the this new document. And then you can move it around. You see, then the white car or cream car, I have no idea what that is, black and white image from about 1965. And again, what you can also do, you can add a drop shadow, just go to layer and layer, obviously, layer style and drop shadow, add multiple drop shadows, add other effects you want, maybe a bevel, up to you change the opacity, click OK, and you can move that over slightly. So you just don't have to have any, and then you can also use transformations, just rotate around using the bounding box as well. Just move that up and down, depending where you want to put it, and then go there, go lasso tool, go create another polygon there. Okay, and again, edit and copy. Go back to the new document, and then paste that in, and again, just move that around, drag that over, you see the wall there, you can just place it where you want, just move it, but overlap it, just make so it's got a little bit of overlap, but it's approximately sort of with the image there. And again, layer, layer stuff. Now, you don't have to use the drop shadow, you can completely keep it without. Go back to the original document again, and go and select another one. Just drag that down, and maybe make that slightly bigger. You can see, maybe you could make very thin strips. You can make maybe five, 10, 20 strips all across. I've only done four or five, so I'm just gonna there and just, just drag that across. And you can overlap it again, just move it there. Again, rotate it around, resize it, whatever you wanna do. Right, in layer, layer style again. Drop shadow. Now you could also apply effects, maybe add effects to the thing. You don't have to have all of the strips to be exactly the same. You could actually apply maybe blur to one or two of the strips. And then you can see you can actually go and select it again. Just go back to your original document and then go there again, copy and then paste into the new document. Just drag that across again over top of the car and maybe like say resize, rotate, layer style again, drop shadow, click OK. Maybe like say oil paint, apply numerous effects to each of those strips. You can make a whole variety of different wonderful designs just by using different techniques there. And again, you can continue copy, maybe make different sizes of there, and just put it there. Rotate it a bit, resize it a bit. Remember not to hold the shift down there if you want to actually keep it, because they've changed that in CC 2019. So again, layer style. Drop chain. But that's it, it could be effects and much more. And then once you're actually happy with all that, you can just go back to the background, maybe blur the background, maybe fill it again with maybe white, black, maybe a pattern. Click OK, and then you've got the image there. And then obviously what you can do, go to the layer and flatten the image. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you, Mike.